Hello. I want to tell you something. I want to show you something. For more than 70% of the, our food, we are dependent on pollination by the honeybee. And the, the population rate is declining with an average of 10% a year. 10% a year. I'm a problem solver. I solve problems with sensors, internet, big data. But I'm also a beekeeper. And I thought, well, how can I take my skills and my knowledge, combine it with the skill and knowledge of others, and make something that can tackle this problem? So what we have made is the e-hive. The e-hive makes keeping bees more accessible to people. We use a lot of different sensors. With those sensors, we generate a lot of data, and the data can be used by scientists to see what's actually going on. Because it's kind of ludicrous. Eh? With all the scientific knowledge in the world, we still don't know what, what's happening to the bees. So we use all different kinds of sensors. We, we called a lot of uh, parties, say, OK, would you want to help us? So a lot of parties and a, a lot of technical firms are helping us with excellent quality type of sensors that we need because we need to create good quality data. Otherwise, the scientific world will not use it. But we also made our own sensor system. And one of the other big problems with keeping bees was the amount of time it took. Getting the honey out of the hive was a real labor of love. And we didn't tackle that, that problem, but we worked together with the guys from Flowhive. This is uh, the Flowhive system, and it makes getting honey out of a hive as easy as just putting in a tube, turning a lever, and the honey flows just out. Now everybody can keep bees. If you combine the skills and knowledge of the flow hive, you combine it with skills and knowledge about sensors, about data, everybody can keep a beehive. You don't have to go to your beehive every week or every other few days to inspect. Just imagine, that's your home. And every week or every few days, somebody comes to your house, lifts up your roof, blows in a lot of smoke, takes out your furniture. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a tree-hugging hippie. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a technician. I'm not a bee whisperer. But every person with a logic sense can know that bees won't like that. Just leave them alone in their natural, natural habitat. Secondly, people think that bees are yeah, dangerous. Eh? They, they sting. And they can, but there are a lot of different bee varieties. So, we use the Buckfast bee. It's a kind of bee who's so gentle and so docile that even one of the most protected persons in the Holland can handle them <laughs> without any protective cloning. On the right, you see our king, Willem Alexander. And on the left, you see Pim Lemmers. We call him the king of bees. And, Pim, thank you that you will help, help us with this project. What we need? We need more people to have bees. With this system, we warp the age-old craft of beekeeping, and we warp it into the modern age. It's less time consuming. And if you want to know what's happening to your bees, just look at your phone. And if something is wrong, then the hive will talk to you. You'll get a message. <laughs> and this opens up a lot of opportunities. Just, uh, just let your creativity go yeah, and think about what you can do. You can have a community project. Yeah? You can make an artistic hive with all your friends, family. or. If you just want to have a hive on your balcony, on your roof, on your terrace, anywhere in front of your office, it's no problem. You, with the e-hive, you can do that. But we need a lot of people to make this a success. We need scientists. 
We need carpenters. We need biologists. We need a lot of people to help us. We also want to make the EHIF a social platform that will bring people not only closer to the bee, but also closer to each other. We have to work together. So the chemists from the agrochemical companies, we need them, we need their knowledge. Just don't think that it's ever possible in our modern society that we can erase all chemicals. We need people to transport the hives. And we need everyone to work together. And I think that's the, that's the biggest uh, hurdle to overcome. Because in this world, people just don't talk to each other. The chemists of the big pharmaceutical companies won't talk to beekeepers. They want, don't want to talk with each other. They are enemies. So we want to bring everybody together to help us. We need the hives. We need the bees to survive. And we don't want to happen to the bees and the hives what happened to the other hive. <laughs> we all know what happened. So, I just want to ask you, will you help us make the bee and the hives great again? Because we need them. <laughs> Thank you.